Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richie Plunker from the Puppetum Geek, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to install Cubeboard on your Mac. Yes, that's right, install. Now, originally, I made the tutorial how to get Cubeboard working on your Mac, and our goal was to basically get Cubeboard working on it in one way or another. We did run into a few problems with crossover, but we managed to get it installing or working, sorry, on uh, VMware Fusion, which is a virtual machine. Now, some of you guys, you know, I've been answering all your questions. And if I haven't posted again in this video, and hopefully I can help you. But at the same time, VMware Fusion, if you don't uh, delegate enough RAM to you know the virtual machine, you will get you know a bit of lagginess. Um, I you know basically I have eight gigs. I gave about three gigs of RAM, and it ran nice and smooth. Um, so obviously it all depends on how much RAM you have and how much you are using already on your Mac. So that's one thing you have to remember. Also, if you have an update crossover, because that's what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using crossover to install Cubeboard. Uh, the guys at Code Weavers, you know, updated crossover to work with Cubeboard, and it, it works. I've tested it, and I'm basically going to show you guys uh, the tutorial. Now, if you haven't watched the original video, you can watch that because I go through an in detail step by step guide. Or what you can do is go to my puppetandgeek.com, have a step by step written guide right here, and, you know, I'll go through everything that you need to know. But we're going to skip most of the steps. So um, if you have, if it's the first time you're watching this video, I recommend you watching the previous video or reading the article. Uh, so go to the Procurement website, and what you want to do is, if you haven't bought Cubeboard already, I recommend you buying Cubeboard. And what you want to do is go to your profile right here, click the home button, and go under My Games. Now under My Games, as some of you guys were asking, where do I find Cube Setup Three? This is where you find it. Um, you know, it's basically the the download link that you download from the site. Also, um, just cross-reference everything you know that it works besides Windows XP. So we're gonna download that. Okay, so now that's downloaded. What we're gonna do is open crossover. Okay, so while that's opening, what you want to do is go to my site, thepopperandgeek.com. Uh, have that open, and you can you know follow the step-by-step -step guide. Uh, we're gonna skip step one and step two and jump into step three. Uh, this is, if this is the first time, as I said before, uh, you actually watching this video, um, run through step one and step two because it basically goes through the demo um, and you know the procedures, how to install crossover and so forth. But what we're going to do is, you know, crossover is open. We're going to go try now because we are using a trial. And while that boots up, okay. So what we're going to do is leave this right here and. On my site, I have a link to the DirectX end user runtime web installer. What you want to do is basically click that, and it'll take you here to the Code Weavers website. And you want to install Direct uh, DirectX end user runtime web installer, and just click it. It should automatically jump into Crossover if you have that already open. As you can see here, it's downloading and doing its thing, and we're just going to wait until that finishes. Okay, so it's done this little thing, but what you want to do, or what I recommend, is going back, making sure everything's all clicked and checked, uh, just to double check, even though you don't have to. That's clicked, because we are installing that. Now, this is where you want to create a new bottler. Now, for the people who watched my first tutorial, we used Cubeboard 5.0, and you guys would have used something else. Now, as I mentioned before, I've tested this numerous times previously, but when I had to do this for the first time with the new update, it basically worked on the first go. So you want to hit new WinXP bottler. Uh, and then, you know, create it, whatever you want. Um, because I've used Cubeboard and everything already, we're going to call this Cube World 3000. And then click install. Now this is really important because when we go to actually install Cubeboard itself, we have to use this same bottler because we are installing the DirectX into this bottler. So when we actually install the program, it uses this program. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> but you guys don't have to just follow the tutorial and you get it working one way or another. Okay, so you'll be prompted just to you know go through the wizard. It's pretty simple. Just hit next and accept next, and then you can just go next. You don't have to do anything. Then. Install. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Finish. Now, once that's done, that's gonna you know do its thing and install DirectX. Okay, so now it should be all done. Now it does take about 10 minutes to actually install everything from that DirectX and use a runtime web installer. 
So then what you want to do after click done, then click install Windows software. Now when you click this, this is where we're actually going into the process to actually installing Cubeworld. So we'll just wait till this do its little thing. It does take a bit of a while. And then what we want to do is go all the way down to other applications. Now because other we're using other applications because you know Cubeworld isn't yet supported you know through one of the softwares right here and as you can see it's not not under the support applications but you want to go under other applications and it'll just work as fine as it would and then under installer you want to go choose installer file just click on that and then go to your downloads file <coughs> where we should have Keyboard, if we can find it. Right here. And then click use this installer. Now after this, what you want to do is go to the next step and then find the bottler that we actually created. So we called it Keyboard 3000. You want to click that and just hit install. Now it should go through the actual process of installing Cubeworld. Now again, if you watch my original tutorial, we got to this step and we did all of this except next, except next, next, next. Install. Now it takes pretty fast to install. I'm gonna finish. It's gonna ask me to log in. So I'm gonna log in right here. Okay, so what you want to do is cross your fingers and click play and hope for the best that it does work for you. Because as I mentioned before, or some of you guys mentioned to me, that some of you guys have done this process already uh, because I, I did tweet it out and it does, still doesn't work. Now it could be because, you know, it depends what Mac you're running, uh, it depends on the graphics card because originally, you know, the guy from um, Picorama, he did say he's still having problems with some Intel computers. So we're going to click play and see what happens. And there we go. Qworld on a Mac, installing via crossover. Anyway guys, hopefully this helped you and hopefully um, you know you managed to get Qworld on a Mac. I really appreciate it. If you like this video and if you really like my content, subscribe and share this video so other people who have a Mac and want to play Qworld can actually install it pretty easily. Also, I like to say uh, for you, some of you guys watching, I'll leave a you know comment down below. Uh, hopefully, the guys at Code Weavers will be giving us um, some promo codes to cross over for you guys. I might have one or two copies to give away, so leave a comment down below if you are interested in that. And also, make sure to be subscribed because I will be doing a giveaway separately. Um, I'll put an annotation somewhere, and you do have to be subscribed to the Puppet Home Geek, um, you know, to be in the contest. Anyway guys, catch you guys later and enjoy Cube World. See ya.